This is the Vikingo we know. Crowd on their feet. Woo. Oh, didn't like his footing. Goes for it again. Oh, the fake out. In the realm of professional wrestling, mistakes are an unavoidable reality. However, certain missteps have resulted in dire consequences for the athletes. While every wrestler is prone to errors, it is imperative that WWE management swiftly intervenes and enforces appropriate disciplinary measures when a significant mistake occurs. This proactive approach not only upholds the standards of professionalism, but also ensures the safety and integrity of the sport for both performers and audiences alike. When Nakamura electrified WWE's main roster in 2017, anticipation soared for his meteoric rise to the pinnacle of sports entertainment. All eyes were set on Nakamura's clash with Jinder Mahal for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam, promising an epic showdown. However, Nakamura's path veered into uncertainty following an unexpected mishap during a showdown with John Cena on SmackDown. In a split-second lapse, Nakamura inadvertently miscalculated a suplex resulting in Cena landing awkwardly. Despite Nakamura's swift apology and Cena's gracious understanding, the incident caught the attention of WWE's top brass, notably, Vince McMahon. Reports circulated of McMahon's displeasure casting a shadow over Nakamura's prospects of championship glory. Although Nakamura later redeemed himself clinching victory in the 2018 Royal Rumble, McMahon's reluctance to grant him the ultimate prize hindered his ascent to WWE supremacy. Shane McMahon's participation in the 2022 Men's Royal Rumble ignited a firestorm of criticism among WWE fans. The much-anticipated event fell flat, lacking the electrifying surprises and gripping suspense that fans crave. McMahon bore the brunt of the backlash, failing to deliver a compelling performance and fumbling through critical moments including his own elimination blunder. One cringeworthy instance saw McMahon struggle to execute a routine clothesline from eventual winner Brock Lesnar, exacerbating the event's disappointment. Notably, McMahon's creative direction and lackluster showing drew ire not only from fans, but also from his own father, WWE titan Vince McMahon. Disappointed by Shane's underwhelming contributions, both in planning and execution, Vince made the tough decision to part ways with his son from the WWE roster. Mickey James, a luminary in the annals of women's wrestling, encountered a formidable setback in 2009 following an ill-fated bout on Raw. Amidst her clash with Gail Kim, a cascade of missteps marred the match, culminating in a botched finish that tarnished James's renowned Mick Kick maneuver. Criticism from WE management awaited her backstage, marking the onset of her trials. A scant two months later, she was slated to relinquish the Divas title to Jillian Hall, a wrestler perceived more as a sideshow than a legitimate contender. Adding insult to injury was the brevity of the encounter, a mere minute long, delivering a devastating blow to James's credibility. It became apparent that this match served as retribution for her previous outing against Kim, with WWE's portrayal of their premier female talent deemed by many as petty and unjust. Mr. Kennedy, once hailed as a rising star in the WWE universe, possessed an undeniable charm and boundless potential. However, his journey to greatness took an unexpected detour in May 2009. Following his recovery from injury, he engaged in a pivotal 10-man tag match on Raw, marking what would tragically become his final appearance in the WWE. During this fateful encounter, a misstep in executing a back suplex on Randy Orton led to a rift that sealed Kennedy's fate in the company. Orton, citing safety concerns, raised objections to WWE management regarding the incident, ultimately resulting in Kennedy's untimely departure. Despite Kennedy's assertion that Orton's positioning contributed to the mishap, the weight of Orton's complaint was bolstered by the backing of John Cena, a revered WWE icon. Given the influence of both Orton and Cena within the organization, Vince McMahon could not ignore their grievances, leading to the abrupt end of Kennedy's tenure with the WWE. Alex Riley's shocking betrayal of The Miz in 2011 ignited a wave of excitement among fans, who eagerly anticipated his rise as a potential future star in the wrestling world. His triumph over The Miz at the Capital Punishment pay-per-view hinted at a promising future ahead. However, that optimism quickly dissipated after a chaotic showdown on Raw following Money in the Bank. It became painfully clear during their rematch that there was a breakdown in communication between Riley and The Miz, leading to a messy and unsatisfying conclusion. 
The match devolved into chaos as Riley's actions left fans and officials perplexed. The aftermath was swift and harsh, with Riley bearing the brunt of the blame for the debacle. Any momentum he had garnered came to an abrupt halt, and his career trajectory plummeted. This stark reversal of fortune was a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of the wrestling industry, where one misstep can alter the course of a career in an instant. Perry Saturn encountered his fair share of obstacles, his journey fraught with challenges that often fell short of expectations. However, amidst the trials, he found himself entangled in a match that would go down in wrestling history as one of the most contentious encounters of all time. In the year 2001, Saturn faced off against Mike Bell in a showdown on the program, B. Throughout the bout, Bell's repeated mishaps, including botched hip tosses and arm drags, resulted in Saturn landing perilously on his head. Rather than maintaining his cool, Saturn succumbed to the heat of the moment, unleashing a barrage of genuine punches to Bell's face and forcefully ejecting him from the ring, leading to another dangerous fall. Saturn's actions were undeniably reckless, drawing ire from WWE management, yet instead of opting for immediate termination, they chose a different path. Saturn was thrust into the notorious Moppy character storyline, an unconventional narrative that saw him developing an unusual affection for a mop. Speculation has long swirled within the WWE universe regarding the dynamics between Triple H and The Miz, reaching its zenith in 2012 with a pivotal incident that captured the attention of fans and insiders alike. During a high-stakes match on Raw, The Miz's failure to execute a move properly placed his opponent, R-Truth, in jeopardy of serious injury. Reports quickly circulated that Triple H, renowned as The Game, confronted The Miz backstage in the aftermath of the incident. Wrestling aficionados, including the venerable Dave Meltzer, revealed that Triple H took The Miz to task for his error, emphasizing the paramount importance of safety and precision inside the squared circle. At the time, The Miz stood as a celebrated figure within WWE circles, esteemed for his crossover appeal and knack for generating headlines. However, enduring such public censure from a seasoned veteran like Triple H undoubtedly left an indelible mark on The Miz. In the cutthroat world of WWE, facing reprimand behind the curtain especially in front of peers can be a profoundly humbling experience for any performer. It's reasonable to infer that The Miz departed that encounter feeling not only chastised, but also determined to elevate his game to new heights. In 2013, backstage tensions within The Shield, particularly involving Roman Reigns, were widely reported. Rumors swirled about a confrontation between Reigns and WWE veteran Randy Orton after a botched spot at a house show. Allegedly, Orton criticized Reigns, but Reigns stood his ground, sparking concerns that reached Vince McMahon, who reportedly expressed his displeasure. Consequently, there was a noticeable decline in The Shield's on-screen presence. This coincided with the unexpected end of The Shield's undefeated streak on an episode of SmackDown. It's reasonable to speculate that these behind-the-scenes issues influenced the decision to alter The Shield's storyline trajectory. Known to wrestling enthusiasts as Deuce, he gained fame as part of the dynamic duo Deuce and Domino. Yet his legacy is also tainted by a memorable WrestleMania blunder. During the intense showdown between Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker at WrestleMania 25, Undertaker's daring leap from the top rope was a highlight. Positioned as a cameraman, Snuka was entrusted with ensuring Undertaker's safety. However, his failure to execute the catch jeopardized the wrestler's well-being, drawing swift condemnation from fans and critics alike. This lapse in performance had far-reaching consequences, derailing Snuka's career trajectory. Ultimately, he parted ways with the company, his tenure overshadowed by the WrestleMania mishap. Long before Kofi Kingston's monumental WWE Championship triumph, strategic plans were in motion to propel him to the revered status of a true main event luminary. Yet, a regrettable incident unfolded during a triple threat showdown alongside Randy Orton and John Cena, disrupting these grand designs. In a critical moment, Kingston missed his mark, eliciting a harsh reaction from Orton, who openly criticized him in the heat of the match. This pivotal misstep dealt a severe blow to Kingston's standing with WWE higher-ups, prompting the shelving of his anticipated Money in the Bank victory and consigning him to the mid-card for the subsequent decade. Despite the initial euphoria surrounding Kingston's reign as WWE Champion in 2019, its premature and mishandled conclusion cast a shadow over its achievements. 
Fans were left disheartened and incensed by Kingston's swift defeat, lasting a mere seven seconds, at the hands of Brock Lesnar. This disrespectful treatment not only belittled the significance of Kingston's reign, but also underscored WWE's wavering faith in his capacity to headline. The one-sided encounter not only eroded Kingston's credibility and mystique but also served as a glaring testament to WWE's dwindling confidence in his status as a top-tier luminary. Here we have it folks, instances in WWE where botches led to severe repercussions for a wrestler. Feel free to drop your comments below and I'll catch you next time with more wrestling content.